If he can't deal with the jab, it will be short and bloody. Five years ago, when Oscar De La Hoya first fought Julio Cesar Chavez here in Las Vegas, he cut him in the first 30 seconds of the fight with a jab. No one at ringside would be tremendously shocked if De La Hoya cut Gunny in the first round. First landed punch is a jab by Gotti. That's not a good sign when you have a superior jabber comes in and let his opponent get the initial jab in. Gotti's thunder is largely found in his big left hook. And if Arturo has a puncher's chance here, as even his most ardent supporters will acknowledge is probably the case, that punch is the left hook. Now, the one thing that De La Hoya didn't do originally it was jab to the body good. He'd always have an excellent jab on top. This time, he's going to the body. And you take chances when you reach down there into those little guys' territory, though. They pay you. Against 130 and 135-pound fighters, Gotti always looks bigger and stronger than his opponents. Now, for the first time, he faces off against a man naturally larger than himself. You think about it, Oscar De La Hoya is moving his head, bobbing and weaving. He's got the height advantage. You don't want that. Right hand for De La Hoya. Floyd Mayweather Jr. promises that Oscar will make his seemingly underdeveloped right hand into a much bigger weapon in this phase of his career. Gaddy has always been vulnerable to the right hand, Jim. Angel Man Freddy hurt Gotti with a right hand early, and that punch ultimately led to Gotti's demise. Big left hook by Gotti. The first thing I notice is that Gotti is doing more ducking and head movement to avoid the jab, and that's why De La Hoya has been unable to establish it as yet. And the problem with that is De La Hoya is bending his knees to try to jab. You don't want to give up your height advantage to a puncher. Let him reach and miss up on top. Don't let him, don't be down there where he wants you. Right hand inside by Gotti. Deloya flicked him with the left. Oscar gives up his jab. He's just an ordinary boxer out there fighting for his life. He gives up his reach. He's got his legs spread far apart. Al Deloya lands his first effective combination and crumbles Gotti with a trademark left hook. And Four. Oscar Deloya left hook. Too Six. big for Gotti. Seven. And there's blood flowing Eight. already Gotti. from Go under right. Arturo Gotti's okay. right arm. Body left hook. Upstairs combinations. Can Gotti finish the round? Remember, Gotti has been there before. De La Hoya fireworks in the last 30 seconds of round one. There's the blood under Gotti's eye. Little weight left hook. And that left hook was the difference in round one. The problem for Gotti is he has to fight a perfect fight to have any chance to stay here. And now Gotti comes out winging shots from both sides. Seemingly already ready to let it go for broke. A very busy Oscar De La Hoya threw 73 punches in round one and looks energetic at the beginning of round two as well. Oh, an uppercut, right hand uppercut by Gotti, momentarily stumbled Oscar. Fox. De La Hoya going to the body with the jab again, George. That's his weapon. You want to keep that jab, but the difference is he's going to the body with it. Sets up a four-punch combination upstairs. Gotti goes to the body with a right hand. And that takes a difference when you're throwing five and six combinations. You get hit to the body, then you start getting winded. Crowd erupts as Gotti tries to come back over the top of Oscar's guard. And pops De La Hoya with two jabs. I don't like Oscar being hit with left jabs by a shorter opponent. It just doesn't work. Well, he's leaning in, George. He's almost leaning over that front foot. It's not That's good okay. at all. That's okay. Leans in, goes to the body. Double shot to the body. Two right hands upstairs. Something new, a right hand. Absolutely. 
point. He has mixed in the right hand much more effectively here than ever before. Here's a guy, got him who's been on the floor. He's gotten up before in his life. He's been blooded. This is not going to bother him. Only what have you done to me lately, not what you did. No, in a, in a way, the farther he falls behind on the scorecards, the no, more Silver. dangerous Gotti will become. Because he he'll get a, more reckless. He has a left hook. Watch your heads. Question will be. How long can Gotti last in the fight with the blood flowing the way it is? But the big gas is under his eye, not above it. Ooh, Excellent body body. Body. And another right hand to the body. And Del Oya has clearly worked to make the right hand better. I like he throws his punches and step back and invites the guy to come in for more. for a precise sharpshooter shooter like De La Hoya. Remember, Gotti is only one good left hook from being into the fight. Doesn't mind being punished and coming back. Gotti trying to unload a big right hand. As we told you, you can score on AOL. 15% of you gave the first round to Arturo Gotti. Well, the, right, the second round, I should say. Second round to Arturo Gotti. Those 15% may need a little more training in scoring fights. Oscar's doing a good job of jabbing, jabbing, and moving out. You know, not staying in there to be get hit back. In a previous exchange, Gaddy hit De La Hoya with a really good shot. De La Hoya shook it off easily. Gaddy suggested to us in our meeting, he said, I'm a big puncher. Oscar's never been hit by a puncher as big as me. I'm thinking he fought Felix Trinidad. Maybe Gotti forgot, forgot about that. There's a big right hand by De La Hoya. And Gotti's and totally he didn't rush him. Oscar didn't rush him. The first time he's taking his time, and after he's hurt him, took his time to start all over again. That's the new Oscar. And Gotti seems totally unprepared for Oscar's right hand leads. Why wouldn't he be? You don't exactly go into a fight with De La Hoya saying, I'm worried about his right hand. Yeah, but Jim, every fighter he's ever fought has hit him with that punch. Every fighter who's ever fought Gotti has hit him with that punch, yeah. right? Okay. I hear what you're saying, Larry. Don't get ecstatic about De La Hoya's right hand against Gotti. I mean, his, his left hand is low. I mean, it's good that Oscar's using it because he's been a one-handed fighter, and I don't think you can beat the best fighters in the world with one hand. No, it was painfully apparent against Mosley. Another big combination by De La Hoya. Gotti taking a beating as round three progresses. Oscar does his combination and back and invites this guy in for more. We never saw that with Oscar. Don't punch. He would burn himself Don't out trying off. to finish a guy out. This time, he takes his time, starts all over again. Big Go left ahead. hook lands upstairs. Another left inside. Gotti lands a left. De La Hoya comes back with a right and a left of his own. Uppercut Stop. misses just short. Oscar, there was that shoulder. Blood and swelling. There's Sticking now some blood. Gotti just a little. Blood Stop. trickling from De La Hoya's Come nose. To Come to me. Here comes the ring doctor. It's okay. Right hand lands flush. 
twice and it punctuated the round later on. Yeah, it's a good point. Stop. The crowd is ecstatic, Quick. George. Floyd Mayweather Sr. is not all that impressed. Not at all. You don't want a good boxer to get out there in those exchanges. That's the only way they got it can get into this fight. In the right. exchanges. Harold, how do you have it through three? Look, it's in real quick. Three to nothing. 30 to 26. No Oscar De La Hoya. Stop that. It's, it's a 10 to 8 round for De La Hoya because of the knockdown of round one. Jim, ask him. He turns that shoulder. I watch. Right. He'll shove off with the Oscar left shoulder. Maybe keeps warning him keeps the shoulder. Him for it. He well, he's not it. shoving off. This guy comes into his shoulder. Gaddy lands a left hook lead. De La Hoya shrugs it off. Kinds of punches which were devastating to Gotti's opponents at 135. De La Hoya has, had, has handled with ease so far. Oscar blocking Gotti's left hand with his right there. Gotti trying to go to the body. Gotti has already won the crowd. Once again, for his bravery, you hear them chanting, Gotti, Gotti. Blood now coming from De La Hoya's mouth as well as a trickle from his nose. De La Hoya using his right hand to parry Gotti's punches and looking for a chance to pop shot with the left. Gotti swinging big with the left hook as the blood flows freely off his cheek and into his mouth. Oscar's jabbing low, jabbing low, and then coming up with the right hand, which is new to him. So already Floyd Mayweather has made a mark on De La Hoya, who lands a left and momentarily freezes Gotti, comes back with a left and a right. Gotti shot, right, left, upstairs, Gotti taking the punches. They cheered for the gladiators, too, in Rome. But they didn't have much of a chance with the Lions in the ring. When you're throwing hard shots like Oscar's doing, it's like sprinting. You gotta wait a second and get your breath back. That's when Gotti should attack. Once he gets done, get right back on him. The only thing that Oscar stopped using his left jab, which is not good for Oscar. If you want to coast, you use your jab. Straight right hand lands again for De La Hoya. One thing I've noticed about De La Hoya is he seems a little bit more relaxed than he usually is, George. He doesn't have his arms way extended. You want to it's relax with your jab on your opponent, though. Tremendous combination by De La Hoya. Got him hanging in. But how much more of this can Arturo take? For an end of the round barrage. Typically, Arturo Gotti's opponents land more than half of their punches on Gotti. If you notice the connect numbers from Copy Box for De La Hoya in the first four rounds, he is over 60% since round one. In other words, he can't miss. The only thing that is going to discourage Gotti is for Oscar to start circling him with that left jab. Stop moving backwards because you give him more courage. Straight Sir. right hand lands again for De La Hoya, who has blood trickling from the outside of his left eye. Well, that's when you get your jab and start dropping one hand, that's what happens. Whatever happens from here on, and De La Hoya certainly is in a commanding position, I don't think he expected this kind of a rough fight. When you're off for nine months or so like that, every fight is going to be rough like that. Target practice. Target practice as Delaware goes to the body and the head. Drives Gotti into the ropes. And the towel comes in from Gotti's corner. And Delaware has a fifth round TKO. Arturo Gotti's trainer had seen enough, and Gotti's infuriated, but Roca made a humane decision for his fighter, who was getting tattooed. He was being tattooed by a puncher, not just a boxer who throws a lot of punches, but a puncher who's throwing devastating punches to your body and to your head. Stop it. You can always recover from a loss.